Hey there messaging masters, tired of third party messaging applications where Google Messages is pre-installed on your Android and it packs a surprising punch? We'll show you why it's worth a look over Telegram, WhatsApp, Signal and a few more messaging applications out there so buckle up and let's explore. Let's get some of the basic stuff out of the way first. If you want specifics and more in-depth tricks, use the timestamps to jump around this video if this is too basic for you to start with. So some things have been packaged into the default SMS app for years now. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here, just good stuff that has been making Google Messages a great default option on a vast array of Android phones out there. One of those is Swipe Actions, which lets you efficiently manage conversations without extensive interaction. A simple swipe left or swipe right, based upon your configuration, archives or deletes threads. Archived messages remain accessible while deleted messages are actually permanently removed from your phone. Utilize that swipe actions with caution, but it is a really nice option to have with Google Messages. Smart Reply is another cool function as Google Messages actually analyzes incoming text messages, proposes concise, relevant replies for immediate transmission with just a single tap. This works with the notification shade and Google Messages itself. It's definitely not flawless, but it can be useful if you want or need a basic response and can't really be bothered to type it out. I'm sure a lot of you out there tend to do like I do. This also includes stickers as part of the suggested stickers option. This will sometimes serve up chat stickers that you can send based upon the reply context. And again, it's another nice quality of life addition to Google Messages. Google Messages also has spam protection built in and acts as a guardian for your phone, proactively filtering spam and phishing attempts before they infiltrate and plug up your inbox. This preemptive filtering keeps your inbox clean and protects you from potential scams. While the filter is effective, I have to say it's not infallible. Occasionally, legitimate messages might get flagged as spam, but you can always review your spam folder and mark messages as not spam to improve the filter's accuracy over time. But it's definitely one of those things that's nice to have, and I'd rather it be here than not here. Notification reminders are also great because they can help mitigate the risk of overlooking messages in your inbox. So when you get a notification, you can tap to send gentle reminders to revisit your inbox if a predetermined period elapses without a response. Or you can actually go into the conversation itself, long press a message and tap the clock shaped icon in the upper right corner. Set the time and date for your reminder and you get pinged at that predetermined time, meaning you'll solely send your replies pretty promptly or later down the line. Messages can also conveniently display a preview of web pages that have been sent directly in the chat window without requiring an external app or browser. This just lets you assess the relevance of a link without interrupting that flow of conversation. You can enable this for all messages or manually view them with a tap if disabled. But I do like this option. It definitely helps if you're messaging with someone you don't know, they send you a link and you then can get an idea of where it's gonna take you. Like lots of other messaging applications, you can actually pair Google Messages with other platforms so that you can message from practically anywhere, including PC, Mac, and tablets and other devices. Just Google Messages for web and then on your phone, tap your account icon in the Messages app, then hit device pairing. Your Google account is actually used here to pair this seamlessly, but if you prefer manually signing in with other hardware, just tap the switch to QR code pairing and scan the QR code on the device you want to send and receive messages from. If you need to remove a paired device, just head back to this menu and delete as required. This does let you use a lot of these RCS features that I'm gonna talk about in a moment, but it is a really nice option for you to message with Google Messages on lots of other platforms without actually installing anything. If you long press the send button in Google Messages, you can actually schedule any type of message to go whenever you choose. You can set the time and date for precise sharing too, which I think is perfect for things like birthday celebration messages. And I do think a lot of other applications lack this function. Google Messages has it, it's a really nice option. You can also pin your most frequent chats to the top of your inbox for effortless access. I don't think this is anything special, but it's definitely useful for common chats that you'll happen to access a lot on a daily basis. Long pressing a message also lets you start or save a message if you ever need to look at it again or quickly refer to it. I use this so I don't personally forget things, but it's another nice option. It's nothing special, but it just helps you stay organized, especially if you message lots of people. And if you're ever feeling a little bit overwhelmed by a cluttered inbox, well, you can actually swiftly mark all messages as red to achieve inbox tranquility by heading to settings and mark all as red. It's simple as that, nothing more, nothing less. So we've covered the simple things, but now it's time to get serious with rich communication services or RCS. And this surpasses the basic limitations of SMS and it has ushered in a really new era for messaging on lots of phones. 
So when you first open up Google Messages, a pop-up will ask you if you'd like to opt in and enable RCS and take you through the steps to do so. A Wi-Fi or data connection is required to use these functions, but if no connection is available, regular SMS or MMS features will be used instead, and that may incur a charge on your local carrier. So when chatting to others that have RCS enabled, which will include Apple phones later this year, you'll have access to lots of enhanced features not usually found when using regular SMS and MMS. And here's a breakdown of some of the advantages offered by Google's implementation of RCS here in Google Messages. When you chat with a friend using an RCS capable messaging application, you'll get a new neat little animation to show you when that person is typing or composing a message to you. This can be disabled by heading to settings, RCS chats and show typing indicators, but it's also worth noting this will work in group messages as well. Like typing indicators, when you send an RCS message, you can also see if that person has received it and if they have read it. When sending your message, a timer icon will show initially, a single check when the message has been sent, and a double check indicates that your message has been delivered successfully, and then a color filled double check when the recipient has seen or read your message. This can be disabled again for privacy concerned people out there by heading to settings, RCS chats, and send read receipts. RCS is great, but you might want to stick with SMS or MMS when you're speaking to a specific person. Luckily though, you can force the older messaging standard on a per chat basis. When you're in a chat that's using RCS, just tap the three dot upper right menu, hit details, and then only send SMS and MMS messages. That'll convert your chat back to the older standard if you do need to use that. You can also express your reaction to messages using things like thumbs up, heart eyes, or another emoji even if the recipient is not using Google Messages, and this includes iPhone users. This works both ways too, as if someone on iPhone reacts to your messages, it works natively with a toggle found in settings, advanced, and show iPhone reactions as emoji. So one of the best things about RCS is that you can share photos, videos, GIFs, stickers, files, location data, and contacts directly to your chats. A hidden toggle even lets you send higher resolution images too, and I think you should enable this. To transmit full resolution images, just disable the send photos faster option and your contacts will eat, get even better images from you directly, meaning you can send things in full resolution and they will get it in all its glory when they receive it. You can also leverage the built-in voice recorder to send longer notes without typing lengthier messages. I think this is a nice option and does keep up with other applications out there that have offered voice memos and voice notes for quite a long time as well. Voice moods are another new feature in Google Messages that let you add a visual emoji background to your voice messages. Seems a little bit pointless, but with nine moods you can choose from, you can express yourself with hearts, fire, or even party poppers along with your voice if you want to. So RCS messaging enhances the Google Messages application and it is simple in its own right, but I do think it's a solid messaging client without adding tons and tons of extra unnecessary options. That said, it does have a host of its own exclusive additions that you might not find everywhere else. So let's get into them. So for each chat in Google Messages, you're able to customize the experience with various color backgrounds and chat bubbles. The downside here is that this is currently limited to RCS chats. So that means it's a no-go for SMS, at least for the time being. Google now lets you message Gemini direct from its own first-party messaging application. And this means you can harness the power of Google's AI to get advice, get information, and do all of the things that you would ordinarily do with the desktop version of this AI feature. Expressive animations lets you infuse messages with vibrancy and use fun animations and screen effects such as sending a text with a burst of confetti. This is a little bit similar to what has been available on iMessage for a while. It doesn't go quite as far, but it is a really nice extra touch where you'll, you'll get more of a fun experience when using Google Messages. It may be a major gimmick, but you can actually now send a quick selfie gift to your contacts by tapping the plus icon and hitting that selfie gif button. This just lets you record a very brief selfie video and then this gets turned into a short gif. I think this is stupid, but it's really fun to use at least once nonetheless. And to help you save notable dates and reminders, if you receive a date in the messages application, just tap it and you can create a calendar event with zero friction. Messages can intelligently work out based on time and date too, allowing you to add this to your calendar. Like I say, no questions asked. If you're tired of one-time passcodes cluttering up your inbox to log into other services, well, you can enable auto delete to automatically remove them after a predetermined time frame. Sadly, and mostly annoyingly, this isn't available in all regions, at least at this time, but I do know it's available in the US. As for that, I'm not sure if you can get it in any of the regions. Google Messages also lets you use chat bubbles that float on your screen to maintain easy access to important conversations. And this is almost like a 
manageable widget that you can use day to day. Chat bubbles are nothing new. They've slowly been implemented or disabled and removed from lots of other applications since they were introduced in the early 2010s. But messages is one of the few that can still use this option with if you need constant access to a specific chat. On selected Google Pixel phones as well, Google Messages is able to transcribe voice messages for you, meaning that you can read a voice message when you can't listen to them. It's pretty damn accurate as well in our experience, but this is limited to Pixel phones, as I mentioned. Designed to help you overcome your writer's block when initiating a message, Magic Compose suggests text based upon the context of your conversation and the text that you've entered into that text entry box. It provides a helpful nudge in the right direction, or you can even just let it go way overboard and invoke Shakespeare to compose your next message. Another fun feature that does have its uses, but it is one of those options that you might not use all that often. Photo emoji is an interesting feature as it exists on other devices out there in a different guise, but when you're using this, just pick a photo and Google Smarts will transform it into a personalized emoji, letting you express yourself with your own face, a pet, or anything else for that matter. Photo emoji works by either creating custom stickers or using them as reactions to existing messages, so you can use them in a lot more places than you probably would have realized. Google Messages nudges are reminders that you can enable that help you stay on top of chats. It isn't available everywhere, but they nudge conversations back up the list if you haven't replied. And this is something that has been available in Gmail for quite a while. They remind you of things like birthdays from your contacts. And I'd say think of them as a friendly assistant for keeping your messages in check and making sure you're contacting the people at the right time. Google Messages also lets you initiate Google Meet video calls directly from your chats with that particular contact. Just simply tap the video call icon on the upper right and your contact will receive a notification to join the call through Google Meet, streamlining that process of getting you into a video call. So that's a wrap on the treasure trove of functionality within Google Messages, basically or practically everything you can currently do. With so much to explore, we're curious. What are your favorite ways to utilize Google Messages? Do you even use it? Share your on-the-go features or go-to features and tips down in the comment sections below and let's create a community of messaging masters like the absolute legends that are on screen now. They're kings of the channel, they're our channel members, and I think there might be Google messaging legends here too. Thanks for watching though, and I will speak to you later.